honor, number one, to have you here. It's an honor Very to special. be here. Thank you guys for having Thank me. Thank you. You have a lovely setup. Everything is nice and you're doing your thing. Thank you. How did you meet um, Sharice Rose? High school? Really? Yeah, we met in high school. Uh, probably like the jun our junior year in high school. Wow. Um, I've, see I've seen her around. and We went to LaGuardia High School for performing arts. So, of course, you know, everybody does plays and shows, so you mm -hmm. see everybody. But it's about the junior year we we met. I, was, I don't even know if it was like in the lunchroom. I'm not sure like exactly where, but it was like sisters like overnight. Wow. So you guys just bonded right away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you, did you bond through like, how did you bond? Did you bond through the love of music? Like, how did you find out that? Well, song? yeah, it was through the love of music because, um, Sharice at that point had been dealing with uh, this man who wanted to put together a group and she'd come and say, oh, would you be interested? You know, and she had a high voice. I was more like mid-soprano. Oh. And then we had another girl named Patrice who was like an alto. So we were like, well, we're gonna try to do this. Oh, so it was three of you. It was three, well, at that point, it was, we had no idea like, you know, where you were going. Right, yeah, <laughs> and well, that, Needless to say, that situation with that guy didn't work out. Right. But it was a starting point. Like yeah. It was, you know, the breeding ground for yeah. what we're doing now. Who yeah. said everything? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. crazy. So what made the both of you decide to become a duo? Number well, one. it was, well, after the first initial try, mm -hmm. Patrice was no longer like with us. Mm -hmm. So we were like, it was just us. We went for auditions, so we auditioned to sing background for Sybil. Oh, wow. So it was us two and a guy. So we were on the road together. We went like to the Philippines, or you know, we, that was our first time out, and we were like, "This is great." So it was it was wild working for her that we was like, "We should try this," and we just never thought like, "It's only two of us. Like we need more." Yeah, it felt right. That's good. It felt right. You're balanced. Mm -hmm. And when you did that, uh, when you became a duo and you went on your first like trip. Uh, were you still in, in high school or was this already you guys graduated? Well, we graduated from high school and um, we both went to City University. Nice. I went to Hunter and she went to John Jay. Okay. And then at, when we were in college is when we started background singing mm -hmm. for. Yeah. But you remained friends for that, that whole time. Yes, from right. high school all the way through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what did you and Trees do when you find out you'd be working with like R. Kelly and you know, for example, the video that you people, mentioned earlier. People don't think like sometimes you just never say never. Right. And at that point with R. Kelly, he was just starting out then too. He was with um really his group. Oh. Um and we liked his voice. We loved like him and Aaron Hall and Guy, you know, we loved him. So when he was when we knew he produced as well, like listen. When we got signed, we told the record exec, Craig Coleman, we said, we want to work with him. He was like, oh gosh, well, how's that going to happen? You guys are like two girls and nobody knows you. And we were like, listen, just send him our demo. Right. You know, we didn't even start our album yet. Just send our wow. demo. So we talked them into sending the demo out, and they sent it out, and then the phone rang. Right. And it was like, oh, I want to work with these girls. Like, you just have to do it. You just have to take chances. Yeah, just like lead. we didn't even think about the duo situation when there was like in Vogue and yeah. all these girl groups. That's right. Where it was just a situation where right. you, if you're going to do a group, it has to be three or more. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, that's it was like, like most of the groups it was, were like yeah, that. It was three just three or more. more. Peaches and her was a guy girl thing back in the day. Oh, okay. You know, I forget the, um, the other two women. Um, it's raining, man. Oh, I didn't know. Right, right. <laughs> that was two women, but it was like it was unheard of to really okay. have two girls together. Well, even we, even nowadays, I think it's not now. common. You know, when you come, when you talk about groups and musical groups, it's Girl, usually more you don't than know that. how many doors shut on us mm -hmm. because it was like, oh, it's only two. It's girls. They need more to look at. Uh, yes. Oh, really? It was that kind um, of situation. You have to just stick to what you believe in. If it feels right, just keep so knocking. Um, one door open. That's true. And when you got signed, when that door opened and you got signed, do you remember maybe the first thing, the first reaction that you and Sharice like, had? What did you do? I think for both of us, Sharice <laughs> and I, we were like, we were just so young and hungry and not like even paying attention. Like, do you just realize that? What just happened? Yeah, like, you just got signed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Do you get it? 
I don't think it like hit us. Right. What hit us was when our song was on the radio. We were we were literally like the five heartbeats. Oh if my you God. ever saw that movie when they woke up out of the bed and the brother, it was just really like that because we had our first single was Stroke You Up. Yes. So it oh, didn't no. play <laughs> until like two in the morning, like our first that was the radio was like two in the morning on oh. the love. You know, when yeah. everybody's up at night. So <laughs> I got a phone call and it was like, Hey God, you know, you wake up out of your sleep, turn the radio on. You don't oh understand God. what the person is saying on the radio. Yeah, screaming. And everybody's just screaming and you're up out of you're like jumping around wow. like a crazy lady. So it's that I think that's when it really, really, really wow. hit us. Because we, you know, up until then we were working on our demos, we were doing the studio thing and we were grinding. But when you hear yourself on the radio, it's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's a totally different thing that happens. So how many weeks after that were people calling you up? Wow. <laughs> yeah, it felt good. Yeah, the whole family. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. How many albums does Changing Faces have? Albums? Three yeah. albums. Three? Yes. Uh -huh. uh huh. Three albums um, and countless soundtracks. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, we've been on countless soundtracks. Right. But um, and that's just because we took a hiatus at that point, mm -hmm. but if, if not, we probably would have had way more hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, uh, one important question I want to ask is, um, you came, you you guys came up in an era where there was a lot of female support and just, like, everybody's eyes were on the women, you yeah. know, and especially like in the 90s, like, it was all about female empowerment, and even though we yeah. have that now, in, in, you know, in music and in, in the world, it was, seems to be a lot stronger then. So, yeah. I mean, like, how do you feel, you know, coming up in that era I feel where there's so many female artists out wonderful, there? Wonderful, and I just don't want it to go backwards. Mm. And when you mention that, I'm looking like, what's going on? You know, mm. like, where are the girl groups? I mean, nobody since Destiny Child That's true. has really been out, like, killing it, doing it strong. And it was, you know, and back then, it wasn't like just one group. No, it was, it was so like many. a whole crew of us. Yes, you know, exactly. and then we all supported each other. Exactly. And you know, I think about that even now. Um, I'm like, you know, we can do like a great tour with the girl groups that were back from the '90s. Oh, wow. Like so many. I mean, you can do SWV, Groundstone, Changing Faces. The list goes in bold. I mean, yeah. it's so many that are great in that. Same wow. circle, TLC, you know, God bless, yeah. left eye, but you know, the same Still, is everybody in there, you know. We don't have a lot of girls out there. We need to get some more girls yeah. going. I mean, That's with true. some real music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think there's a void that needs to be filled. And I think yeah. that, you know, where me and Sharice and I are now, um, we just feel like it's, it's time. You know, to come back, I think there's a void there in music that needs to be filled. So maybe you guys are gonna fill it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we've been <laughs> working slowly but surely on new material. Right. Um, we had did something last year and it got leaked, and then it ended up on Music Choice and whatever. I mean, but that's, that's great cool. because it was awesome for us to see that our fans. <laughs> Still, yeah. you know, had a need for us, yeah. and you know, and wanted us out there. So we were, we were so um, humbled by it, and we appreciated it so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, why the name Changing Faces, by the way? Oh my gosh, I girl! It it sounds more like something, you know, scientific <laughs> than it actually is. We were called face to face. Oh, okay. Um, at, that's after like 800 names. <laughs> and then <laughs> we came down to face to face. Um, literally, I think a week before our single was set to drop, I want to say like a week, we found out that there was a rock group named Face to Face. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> we put we put that song out with that name. They were just lamping to sue us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, along with a record label, our attorney. Everybody we just sat around the round table. We said, This is something the album is pressed to go, the record is ready. Let's throw some names in the hat, mm -hmm. whichever one we pick out. I kid you not, that's the name we're going with. Wow, we said, Nothing else matters in this business but your music. So, at the end of the day, your name can be Google. The music <laughs> is that's true. Google. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then it's 
is not going to sell. Right. So we believed in our music that much, and we just put our name in the hat, and we said, whatever we pick out, we're going with. And I'll keep changing business. And I think it was, um, it was one of our attorneys who, you know, they put changing things wow. out there. And we were like, we're going to go on the strength of good music. And wow. we know at the end of the day, that's going to supersede anything. Mm -hmm. Definitely did. Yeah. You would have never, I would have never yeah. thought. <laughs> I thought it was so much thought into changing. Like, hmm, there's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the reason. Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, you have mentioned to me um, an artist that, uh, and we, we have a video here that we're going to play. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned, viewers. Yes. But mm -hmm. um, you're managing artists. Or well, yeah, well, actually, she signed oh, to our label. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not mad. She has her own manager. Ah, okay. Right. So, so, so tell me about Jews, writer, I love writing. Um, I've written, even while we were out, I, like, I was writing, I've written Jody Wadley, that, mm -hmm. she has a single that was, uh, this was back in the night, so I've always been into writing. You were, you stayed um, involved in these Yes, I never been behind the scenes. You had a hiatus, but you were still there. Yes, oh, absolutely. Nice. Like music is my life, so it's never gonna stop. And um, so, while on this hiatus, yeah, I've come across a lot of you know a lot of people tell you, oh, I sing or whatever. But mm -hmm. to me, a real talent, you know, young, I'm hungry, mm -hmm. and just really truly talented. That's hard to find, you know, because a lot of a lot of a lot of people out. Sometimes you find gimmicks, you know, you don't want, because the gimmick is only going to last you for a, a, a special time, you know. But this girl, it's just the real deal, and she just caught me off my feet. Wow. Um, and my husband is a producer, so with that being said, we just took her in the dungeon, that's what we call the studio, and we were like, we got to get some stuff done. The Batman cave. Yeah, the Batman cave, so we were in the dungeon, and we're about maybe 15, um, songs deep, but we're not stopping there. Uh, we're gonna keep, you know, going until we have, like, to me, we already have that album, but nice. until we have that album, nice. you know? Yeah. Can, you, can you leak us her name, or? Yeah, her name is Key Mace. Key Mace? Uh-huh, and her name is Kiana Mace. Ah, so, so Key Mace yeah, is like Key cool. Mace. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, and she's out of uh, Maryland, hmm. and she's just a rare find. She really That's is. Wonderful. Yeah. When did you meet her? Well, I met her through someone, through someone. Oh, you know, so yeah, it was one of those, you have to meet this person. person. Mm -hmm. oh, that's really cool, though. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> it was all great. And we're going to be seeing, what are we going to be seeing? A, a music video? Yeah, yeah, this is just like a starter cool. video um, that we have up on YouTube. Everybody check it out. Go yeah, and check it out promo. again and check it out again. <laughs> she was My name is Key Mace and the song is Boyfriend. Boyfriend. All right, so we'll be checking it out soon. I want to ask you one more question. Okay. Um, I did read about you that you have a clothing line mm -hmm, called mm -hmm. a, ch a Chi Chi, right? A Chi Chi. A Chi Chi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So tell us about that. A Chi Chi is another one of those like pulling names out of the hat thing with changing faces. Uh, uh, we have, my girls and I, we have a uh, girls night out. So we do it for everyone's birthday. I mean, someone is in the winter, summer, spring, whatever. So we see each other maybe about. It's about six of us, so six times a year, so we can make sure that we don't get caught up in life. That's beautiful. And we make sure we see, you know, spend Those time. Real friends. So yeah. that is like standard. Cool. Like your birthday, you pick, you pick the spot, we're going. Right. So on a girls' night out, uh, we, you know, saw some girls riding, walking by, and we have like little juicy across the butt, and mm -hmm. you know, things like that. So we're like, well, what can we do? You know. That women maybe they might appreciate. So a Chi Chi came about over a girls' night out, and we figured, you know, let's just do clothing that makes you feel good from the inside out. So a Chi Chi is just positive images. Uh, our first series will be the love series. Um, every series is love, a dream, a peace, hope. And every series, the love series will be a portion of the proceeds will be donated to um, women in 
shell in battered shelter. Right. The, uh -huh. the, the hope series, a portion of the proceeds will be uh, promoted to breast cancer. Mm -hmm. um, so each, every each series, thing goes with when right. you're, doing. you're purchasing an Achi T shirt, you're purchasing, you know, you're helping someone out. You know. know. In Dream, we want that to be to young girls, scholarships to college, you know, oh, the Dream yeah. thing. So it's, you know, we just wanted to put positive energy out there. That's and, that's you know, and to help out our sisters out. You yeah. Know? yeah. When you put positive energy out there, you get it back. So yeah, absolutely. Really absolutely. Yes.